Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Avengers issue 15. And this was a pretty cool issue. We got some nice movement on the Vampire Civil War front. We got uh, some pretty cool scenes with Dracula, and we got a little bit more of an introduction to the Shadow Colonel's uh, Legion of the Undead. And this started off pretty much where we had left off with Robbie kind of narrating what he's kind of going through as he's attained this different form of the Ghost Rider and how the Shadow Curse is pretty much putting uh, Carol and Blade on the defensive a little bit, but then they're like, okay, how's he going to get out of here? And, of course, Black Panther and Cap come in. He's pretty much saying, get everybody the guts. Thor's like, where are the guts? That near the intestine kind of stuff? But, of course, that's when we get Sarge the Hellhound coming in, followed by uh, Robbie blasting Carol all the way through, well, not out of the Avengers Mountain, but through some pretty solid walls. Like, she took a big-ass hit to where she's, like, not to the point where she could see um, Thor and Iron Man. They're like, what the hell hit you? It's like, uh, we gotta get them before they get in the car. <laughs> and... Of course, the Shadow Colonel and Sarge get in, and they're able to get out of the Avengers Mountain. Uh, T'Challa's telling us that the Avengers Mountain can actually heal itself, so that's a pretty cool little lore bit that we've got, that yes, the Avengers Mountain can take damage, but since it's a dead celestial, it can also heal itself. And like, that's pretty handy to have. But we see Robbie going through, talking in his head, how he's like screaming it on fire, and how it's like a second birth, but that even though it hurts like hell... He really likes it. So I was like, ooh, okay, what's going on here? So we then shift up, and we're seeing kind of what's going on. They need to figure out. They've got the Avengers Mountain searching for Hellfire traces and everything so that they can get a beat on Robbie. And that's pretty heavy hitter to have on the side of one of the uh, vampires. So they're like, okay, we got to figure out what's going on with Dracula. So they decide to send Tony to investigate. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. Seeing with his stealth armor set up and everything, we see that he's trying to figure out why Dracula would do this. And Dracula, of course, is taunting him how Howard Stark had come to beg for just like a sip of his blood to be immortal and all that, even offering up Tony. It's like, mm, you're playing a game of... Mm, let's see, insult Howard Stark that Tony would probably win nine times out of ten. So we see that Dracula is just trying to mess with him, and we do get the information that he is not as strong as the top shelf Dracula that we would see in most kind of vampire stories. He doesn't really have his home, and of course having your ancestral home and those kind of layers is important in vampire lore, so I don't know if that has triggered, not triggered, but contributed to his weakness and saying that all he's got left is his life and he just wants to live out in peace. Of course, Tony's like, well, the Avengers can kind of protect you and everything. Of course, you'd be behind bars. Dracula laughs at that and he's like, well, I could take you. He's like, yeah, but you're going to be dealing with something else. And then a riot sets off and of course, he's in this prison in Russia and of course, the Winter Guard is dealing with it. We Except it's just like the Crimson Dynamo and the... Mm, to the brother and sister combo. We don't have uh, Ursa Major or the Red Widow involved, but Tony's kind of helping him out and everything. Dracula's kind of like laughing it up a little bit. Not boisterously, but he's like, yeah, he's got that smile on that. He's like, yeah, I can leave if I want, but I don't want to. I can make all these people right and all that. I don't want to leave. It's like, mm, it's kind of creepy. And seeing them confer with that, and there's like, God damn it. Mm. Of course, the Crimson Dynamo's like, Damn it, Stark. <laughs> There's, I like the kind of frenemy relationship that they have. I'm like, all right, fine. He's like, oh, you kind of got your own shit to deal with. Uh, I don't think you have enough time to arrest me. And then, of course, Dynamo punches him in the stomach. Like, leave here, Stark. Just be grateful that the bear and the widow weren't here, because that would have just been the Stark. And, of course, Tony gives an update to T'Challa, and <laughs> T'Challa's going, like, what the hell's going on? You sound like you got, like, never mind. Learn about it later. We then shift to uh, Madripoor, and we see evidently this 
coven of vampires that are pleading, saying that we only feed on the blood of the wicked. And of course, that's when the uh, rats strapped with the sun bombs are pretty much thrown at them. We see that we're introduced to the rat bomber, uh, the snow snake and the Carpathian, uh, uh, Lady Cromwell, who wants to bring about the Fourth Reich. And uh, Boy Thing, which is a cut off that the Shadow Colonel has taken off of a man thing, so that way he can have almost an unlimited supply of steaks, which is very smart when you're going vampire hunting. It's like, okay, that's like a man thing thing. What's going on with that? So I like that there's like, oh, there's a reason he has it. It's a badass reason, and he's just pumping it into his Gatling gun to mow down vampires. And he explains that he wants to remove the weakness from the vampires with like the suck heads and the bangers and all that. And they get in and they see the children of these vampires and he orders the ghost rider to flame them. And he's, of course, attempts to do it, but it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. He goes, nope. Even monsters have limits and he's about to go after the shadow colonel, but, you know, all right, fine, I'll do it myself. They get blasted in and we see that the Avengers have arrived, and he decides to turn the Ghost Rider on the Avengers instead. And that's about all we get. We get that the Shadow Colonel has had many names as well, and I kind of like the slower kind of pace that we have on his reveal, because it's nice that we got some little background on his Legion, but he's the big one that we kind of want to be fleshed out as we're going through this story, because he's the biggest major player on the other side besides Dracula. And I'm just loving that they're doing it this way. I'm like, at first I'm going, okay, we had the Celestials, and then we had pretty much the setup of all these world superhero organizations. I'm like, Empire Civil War, okay, we'll have to see how well this goes to be set up to be kind of that big kind of event. And it is, because it's global scanning, they have to deal with all these vampires because everything's been shaken up. It's like, yeah, this is a big world problem that the Avengers have to tackle. It's like, I can't wait to see how the Avengers are going to handle this and how Robbie's going to get out of his predicament. And I love that the arc that we've got with Robbie's new form for the Ghost Rider. And I love it when they dig into the Ghost Rider and kind of do different kind of things related to his, like, spirit of vengeance and how powerful he really is, because he's one of those ones that, if you deal with him right, he's, you can do some really cool things with him, and I'm like, yeah, he's one of the most powerful things, beings and entities in existence, and if you're not careful with dealing with him, whoo, problems can occur, like this, so, I can't wait to see where this goes and where this ends, and where we're going to be going off next. Now, granted, we are going to have the War of the Realms being brought into effect, so I'm curious to see how that's going to affect this, if we're going to have the Vampire Civil War arc wrapped up before that kicks off, or if it'll take some kind of little break, and then we'll get back into it later, so... I don't care, as long as we get some kick-ass more moments and kick-ass stories like we're getting now. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.